see this guys <laughs> what can i say i'm a freak I so think, uh, the real test of longevity is when you are walking outside with your dog <laughs> Welcome back to my bare naked face with dark circles <laughs> and if you are watching me for the first time kya hi farak padta hai ab aa to gaye ho dekh hi lo shuru karte hain sunscreen by minimalist and i also bought see this guys <laughs> what can i say i'm a freak this for my mom uh she's developed some spots and some melasma so this is for her i also bought uh, alpha arbutin which is also supposed to help with the melanin production lactic acid which i have been using and uh, really liking it will do a full review on it vitamin c serum uh, used it couple of times like it hair growth actives because hair fall is such a common problem and with uh, all the hard water over here like i'm living in this place with hard water and my hair has been really <laughs> taking a lot of beating because of it hair growth actives 18% so if any of these products interest you you should subscribe because i'm going to do a review and then i'm going to also do a empties video on minimalist alone because i have so many this is be minimalist spf 60 silly marine pa 4 plus 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 four pluses which means it's pa 4 Now PA4 is really good for people like me who tan easily like you can see Do you see my tan line Like even if I pull my skin straight but you still see that dark line because my skin is very uh, thin I have very fine skin and it tans very easy my forehead you can see this is one color here and here there's one color So if you're someone like me and you tan really easily then for me this feature is so meant for me. Its sunscreen filters are Uvinol A+ which is for UVA radiation and Tinosorb which is for the UVB radiation. Now these two are superior quality uh, filters as opposed to Avo Benzol which is in their uh, previous SPF 50 version this is the 61 why these two filters are better is because they absorb better protecting the skin from the rays and these two ingredients have superior photo stability so for me i would say uh, the photo stability factor is really good if you are somebody who shoots a lot if you're a model or if you take a lot of uh, flash photography then also i think uh, these two filters are good for you and for physical filters both of them have a uh, titanium dioxide let's compare the skin care ingredients of spf 60 to spf 50 spf 50 has vitamin a b e and f spf 60 has silymarine uh, silymarine is an antioxidant antioxidants are so important in sunscreen because uh, it sort of prevents free radicals it prevents aging and if you can prevent it you know while the free radicals are forming it's getting exposed to the sun if you can prevent it at that time itself then why not so i think antioxidants in sunscreen make a difference and silymarine is a superior antioxidant than vitamin a b and c not c a b e and f yes let's talk about their hydrators and soothers which i think is so important like for example when you're using lactic acid or salicylic acid or any of these bha aha peels and then you apply sunscreen or if you're using retinol and you apply sunscreen the first thing sunscreen does is it stings your sink hydrants and soothers are so so important in sunscreen these days uh, since sunscreen is uh, you know becoming more and more inevitable in our routines spf 50 had retinol and spf 60 has allotin both i would say are really nourishing and well balanced both have vitamin e as well so in that case minimalist has taken care of it so the packaging is like this and it comes in another black dabba inside it uh i think it's all the products have come like that and i think it's uh, to sort of prevent exposure from lighting and sun and it's in a full black bottle which i love minimalist they really understand uh the nitty gritties of skincare i love that they've done this because 
not all of us can store uh, creams in a separate place. Sometimes we just leave it on our dressing table and you know, we switch on the tube light, we open the windows in the morning, light does fall on it. So I love that they've understood that and given packaging according to it. Do you guys like sushi? Because it's sort of, it's smelling like that. Have you guys, like if, if you've ever tried out sushi, there is a, a seaweed wrapping on sushi. It's called a nori. So this reminds me of that. Now I'm a sushi lover, so I'm pretty happy with the smell. It's making me a little hungry though. It's a little white like this when you apply it. Mm. I feel like I'm applying <laughs> sushi snori, the seaweed for those of you who don't know, onto the skin. The texture is very smooth and easy to blend. Did you guys know that sushi is really good for skin? Like the nori, the seaweed wrapping, it's supposed to be really good for skin. And uh, salmon is good and so is wasabi even though it's spicy. So it's very spicy, right? It's a rich source of vitamins. Hey, it blended itself out, right? It was white at first and now it's all even. I'm gonna go out for walking with my dog. I'm gonna walk around for like at least 15-20 minutes and then record the video. So we'll know how it holds in hot uh, sunlight also. Sunlight is a really good uh, test for white cast. You sweat and then a little bit of whitish, this thing, cream comes on. Sunlight catches it. Like so this is how it looks. I feel it looks pretty good. I cannot see anything sitting on the skin. It's looking as bare and naked as it was looking initially. Will we go out and walk my dog? So this is my dugu and uh, here we are going for a walk. The real test of longevity is when you are walking outside with your dog. <laughs> so it is uh, sunset time and this is how everything looks. Uh, you can see nothing is sweating, nothing is oily. I'm not wearing any powder. But I think if I was to put a mattifying powder on top of this, the lasting power would definitely increase. All I'm wearing is a uh, little bit of vitamin C that I wore in the morning and uh, this sunscreen test that I did today. So I'm going to climb some stairs. These are certain landscapes that I'm going to be climbing. There's a little bit of sweat that has come but nothing has gotten too sweaty or too oily yet. Here I am in these landscapes. So here we are. This is how everything looks. I'll show you guys where I'm, the kind of lighting I'm shooting it in. There. That's the evening sunset light. So I've been walking, climbing up and down the stairs. Uh, you can see there's slight bit of sweat that's come on my upper lip. But that's just sweat, that's not oil. You can just dab it like so and it goes. Uh, the texture you can see, it's very skin-like. There's absolutely no white cast. The sun is setting. Uh, yes, it is a little pricey. but. We are already buying a shield and requel for this sort of price. I would say is worth the price. Will I be buying it again? Yes. I will be buying it again, definitely. Do I think it's worth the price? I'll say yes, it is worth the price. Uh, if anything, I'll say this 
is a little better than um, Requil and La Shield. What is your favorite uh, sunscreen? My favorite sunscreen so far has been Neutrogena, but uh, I feel like things might be changing. I feel like it just might be my new favorite.